hello beautiful souls welcome to my channel this is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today i'm gonna do a pick a cup reading the first one we have with the stone of amethyst on the left side okay this one is the cup one and the second one is the rose quartz in a heart shape and i'm going to get some help from the tarot decks this is the light seer's tarot and this one is the wild unknown tarot so make your pick and let's jump into your reading and by the way if you're enjoying these videos don't forget to give them a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel all right let's go hello my beautiful cup one welcome to your reading let's jump into it right away i see here there's a path appearing for you this seems like an international path and i see a couple so if you're planning to move somewhere or maybe marriage showing up marrying from someone from another country or like having a relationship this is showing here okay i see some tears of joy coming out of your cup which is beautiful so you're going to receive very good news and this is actually looking like it's going to happen really soon when i turned around i saw it like a couple but also this looks like a gift box so if you're expecting to receive gifts from somewhere or someone maybe from another country a person um, that might be showing up for you uh, this is going to be a general reading and the time period is going to be intuitive i see here right away i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see too there are two people having a conversation one is taller and the other one's a little short shorter and um, two people are having a conversation and discussing about some crossroads maybe even like a something that is going to give you emotional fulfillment you see the cup right there but this cup is currently empty so maybe there's a oh i cannot make this up this is <laughs> let me show you what i'm showing you and this is the card that came this is the card uh, this is number six from major arcana this is lovers and the card represented by gemini this can be like a couple maybe if you're planning to have someone new in your life can be that or also uh, a new thing that will give you a lot of emotional fulfillment and um, maybe if even if you're looking for a job this is going to be the place that you're going to feel like you are perfect match like uh uh, fits like a glove to you and you fit perfectly there and um, there's going to be a negotiation between you and someone you see there's a actually connection forming here and also right here as well and this is going to happen really soon maybe one day one week or one month or so this is going to happen this is going to come your way and like i said the cup is being filled right away right after that i see letter a um Maybe in their first name or the last name of the person that is going to show up in your life. A as in Adam or Alexis just popped into my head. And this is actually this card. Lovers starts with that. This is in Turkish. So yeah. Okay. Let's get to what's happening right after that. By the way, this broke and I just didn't want to throw it away. And I just put it back on there. And it's not really holding very tightly. If it falls, <laughs> it's a kismet. I see a rose, a beautiful rose is arising within like uh, after this relationship, this thing, this new beginning happens to you. I see this beautiful rose is forming, okay? This rose can be representative of love or a situation that will give you a lot of satisfaction and love. Um, can be romantic, doesn't have to be, like I said, even, a, even though we have a lover's card here, this doesn't have to be romantic. This can be something that you will be loving and you want to really have in your life. Or even like maybe they're going to open a path to you. They're going to give you an inspiration. Whatever this thing happens. This can be a rose that you're receiving. I mean, I can't make this up. This is like the two of cups. <laughs> this is an ultimate love card as well. I'm going to keep saying that this is going to be something you really love and feel connected to. Okay. The things that um, maybe you're going to start a new place and you're going to have a perfect colleague and your work will be appreciated at that spot, at that place. And I see legal paper right after that, right here. Wait, after you receive the rose this can be also number 700 this is a num lucky number seven this can be some luck turning around for you something that you're wanting to come into your life and then the legal paper can be a new contract at a new place at this workplace that you're working at also i see a duck right under it 
So you're going to have a lot of emotional fulfillment. This is, we have the Ten of Cups right here, which is not really connected to so much of the money, but uh, emotions also because like having all the money in the planet and if you don't have anybody to share that with, doesn't really give uh, emotional fulfillment. You're going to have, I feel like you're going to have both because I see like a crowd here, a big crowd is appearing right after that. Okay, do you see one, two, three different, four different fishes are showing. Fish in coffee cup reading represents money. So uh, whatever, like, I feel like if you feel inspiration coming through you and to tell you to do something that is give you, get that's going to give you joy, follow that because with that inspiration, you're going to find a perfect match for yourself. You're going to find a um, perfect place to work, perfect um, environment to be in maybe the place that you want to live in. And that will also bring you money as well. You know, whenever you do something you love, it will bring you a lot of money. And uh, this seems it's going to happen around like four or five months. And I see somebody here. This reminds me of like um, uh, someone like a wise uh, person who's wearing a hat, who has a mustache. Uh, what came to my mind is La Tzu. I think he has uh, this... I, I don't think, I know he has a book, uh, Art of War, which is a very thin book, but it has a lot of like life lessons, big time life lessons in it. So I feel like if you read that book, reread, maybe I should reread it again as well. It has a lot of good lessons and it doesn't have to be like going to war. It's about relationships and all that things. Like there is a saying actually, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, if that's not from that book. The book says, uh, it says, um, I'd rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. It just represents of being prepared for situations in your life. And uh, this person can be new guides for you. Can be a literal human being or someone from your past lives or maybe like your angel spirits guides, like something, someone is going to be guiding you into a visor place in your life like they're gonna give you share their wisdom with you that gonna that is going to upgrade your life i see another heart shape appearing here this looks like there's a person here waiting for you there are a lot of mustaches the one here there's a person with mustache here this person this can be like if, if you're a male watching this this can be you carrying your heart on your back maybe you want to receive some love more of the Maybe you're not feeling, even though you're going to be surrounded by a lot of affection and love. And uh, there is going to be a situation within like five months or so. Where you're going to be feeling actually that you have this. And if you're a woman, you might be sharing this person like with this person. But I see a male here. So if you have other preferences, you can take it as like this can be whoever this uh, needs to receive the love is a, a masculine figure. Maybe they are so masculine, that's why they're feeling hard time to connect with their feminine side, which is the gentle side, which is the nurturing side of themselves. This can be also you not feeling the love that you have surrounding you. That's why this like feels like a hermit moment here, that you're going to go back into your shell. But let me remind you the hermit card in tarot. Inside of his lantern, he actually has a star. That means that you will be manifesting all your desires. Hermit manifested all his desires already, but he just needs to uh, actually go back into his shell and recuperate and just take care of himself, herself, and then just come back to the reality. But just mind, your mind is where you're actually living in. So I feel like there's going to be that kind of a moment. You need to rest and um, um, maybe just get, give yourself some time to uh, recover. I see another letter A can be in someone's first name or the last name and I see a reverse E also looks like number 9. 9 we're in September right now um, we're not on the 9th yet but maybe on the 9th of September or maybe on the 9th of October pops into my head because this seems like a two months from now uh, there's gonna be some things are starting to move. I see a key appearing for you here within like uh, seven weeks or seven months. Uh, like I said, the time period will, period will be intuitively. And this key indicates like if you're planning to buy a place, a house of your own, maybe you're planning to rent a place, that's going to be manifesting for you as well. I also see someone with a mask here, like not a mask, but someone 
who's actually has influence in someone's life, maybe in your life, and there's going to be a conversation about this person. This person reminds me of like a, a Leon Lion's face, so can be a Leo. I see a girl here, a man with a hat falling down, and a woman has a horns. I feel like this woman can be Capricorn, this woman can be Capricorn, and this man is holding up a dog, so it can be someone very loyal. And with this Leo, there's gonna be like a back and forth, and this man can be an authority, maybe a legal person, maybe a lawyer. If you have like this legal situation happening in between a family, maybe there is gonna be like a resolution coming and the key is appearing so that you're gonna get a solution at the end of this thing, but it's gonna get a little bit like a back and forth, the, a little bit stressful before the things resolves but there you go you have your cup right here and you're holding it up so eventually you're going to receive your emotional fulfillment out of this situation okay it's going to be a little bit stressful in the beginning but towards the end the heart shape is appearing your heart's desire is coming and um, you are actually receiving like these two people are actually handing you over something you're on the throne and there's a good sign like there's a bunny face so whatever this throne that you're going to be sitting on is going to be a source of abundance for you maybe a legal business like a, a legal ownership of a business or um maybe um a property or something like that okay all right guys let's dive into your plate now let's see if you have a question a desire and intention just hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for for that one Okay, whatever that is in your mind, this one has some time or maybe you need to work on if you have doubts on the situation. I see a money bag at the end, but there's a person also. Um, so your heart is being split up in this situation, whatever this is. Okay, there's a second path also showing here. This is going to happen in within four months or so, uh, an international path. Okay yeah it's gonna come towards you really good like in a good timing and this is actually forming like this is like forming other sea a crescent moon so it can be a legal accomplishment you want and um i know many of you not looking for any love because i see in the comments but if you're looking for love definitely there's a couple showing here there's the seahorse on the top seahorses the males give birth so the, even though this relationship this relationship even though if you don't want it it's going to be very loving uh caring relationship and the horse head also represents this is wish fulfillment so this can be also a relationship that you're going to be having at your workplace an environment that you're living in a peaceful place to live like whatever that you want to happen in your life that's what you're manifesting with this energy okay this heart this is your heart's desire coming to you and i see like there's a bag of money just fell right here so if you would like you manifest money also that's going to be showing up it's not a huge amount let me tell you it's a good amount but it's not that big this can also be um, a gift coming for you okay a gift from someone and i see like i pulled all the love cards for you and i want to see what's standing in front of it we have the nine of swords here okay nine of swords in this deck is representative of like phantom nightmares okay there's a phantom bed right there and the birds are all around her head so birds representative of um news in in coffee cup readings and here maybe you keep hearing all the time this news that are not very um joyful at this at this time for you they're not really giving you good uh good thing but good mindset but the thing is these are not really connected to you can be literally about you also but i feel like here it's not really about you this is the things about your family maybe the things are happening to the people around you and um this is giving you nightmares because you're afraid that is going to that is going to affect you that is affecting you as well mentally and spiritually but this is the good news when it comes to nine of uh, swords because you can let this go you can let it go you can transform it this is not like a tower moment this is not like um devil thing this is actually this is everything is in your mind and can be fixable okay focus on what 
makes you happy currently. Focus on whatever is better in your life. And I keep telling you about the hermit card. There you go. You have the hermit. You have the lantern here. And it's time to rest, okay? So whenever you're feeling like the things are not really going the way you want them to be, uh, just focus on your energies. Just clear your aura, chakras, step on earth, hug a tree, say a little prayer, go light a candle, and uh, talk to the Lord and the God creator, whoever, whatever you believe in. And, um, you know, just connect, connect your energy and clear your energy from the things that are actually pulling you down. And I feel like that's the advice. And I see here, we have for you the... Um, Page of, page of Pentacles again. If any of you manifesting love, there can be someone very compatible with you showing up really soon. Can be an earth sign, Taurus, um, Taurus or Capricorn or Virgo. And actually, uh, Hierophant is Virgo as well. I said, like, I, I see a lot of love in this reading, but if you're not manifesting love, this can also be a situation that is going to give you a financial upgrade as well. It can be like a new offer. Okay. All right. Let's final cards here. We have the two of pentacles. The advice for you is to balance out your energy. Okay. Don't put all your baskets in one, no, all your eggs in one basket and don't, um, you know, balance your energy out and, um, don't like overwork yourself and the things are actually going to happen in due time. Try to focus on the state of being who you want to be having, like, what would you feel? What would you, um, how would you act if you were the person in this situation that you want to be in? I think this is the, the two of pentacles is telling you, like, just be in balanced mode. Okay. Don't be like, overreactive or be in apathy just be in between in the state of knowing that everything you desire is already yours all right my lovelies that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do give the thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications whenever i upload all right guys i wish you all a magical day bye Hello, my beautiful cup too. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what's coming your way. You picked this beautiful heart-shaped rose stone, rose quartz, and um, maybe this is because amethyst is about like negative energy, release negativity, and rose quartz is about love, feeling love. So, um, but in the first reading, there was a lot of love, by the way. If you um, if that just resonates with you, go ahead and watch that one as well. I see here there's a path opening for you. There's certain paths. This is like international path. And I see somebody at the end. This can be someone traveling towards you. Just keep an open eye. And there's a second also path is opening. But this is not certain. Okay. And your cup is actually holding very tightly as you can see. When the cup is holding this tightly, um, we don't really open up the cup. It's called the prophet's cup. So if you had like a question and intention in your mind before you turn on this video or when you turn the video, the question is positive. Whatever that you're desiring is actually going to be yours. But for the sake of the video, let's crack it open. Let's see. Okay, this is going to happen in a while though. This is not going to happen very soon. It's going to be like maybe 10 months or 11 months or so. And uh, if you have anything planned, you can take it like 11 weeks as well. Okay, I see so many paths are opening for you. In the bottom of your heart, I see maybe you're feeling a little stressful. And uh, let's see what this stress is about. And uh, maybe feeling uh, not so stressful, but you can say it in negatively in some situation. Maybe you're manifesting something and that thing didn't really show up yet. That's why it's giving you a little bit like stress, um, that kind of a thing. Right here, within a month or so, I see a person holding up a long sword. And swords are actually represented by Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This can be someone who wants to communicate with you, okay? They're going to show up. And very soon, maybe in a month or in a week, I have here, maybe this person, okay, uh, might have, we have the Eight of Cups here. 
this person might actually give you some sort of like disappointment okay maybe they broke your heart or there's a misunderstanding between you and this person but the situation will be cleared out and i see like this person's traveling from maybe another country another city or state they're gonna come towards you and they're gonna explain the situation and they're gonna clarify the situation for you okay i see there's a path is opening for you here right after that maybe you're gonna be traveling with this person to somewhere take a little vacation after they come and um, right after that you're coming back and there's a huge fish here you can see there are two fishes okay one is big and the other one is small and there is someone is leaning back and trying to catch these fishes so this leaning back situation tells me that maybe you have been trying to catch these fishes fishes symbolizing coffee cup readings money and uh yes this is like we have the ace of uh, wands this is like a financial thing a new um establishment new um entrepreneur ship action or a business related thing like this is what you want um like maybe you don't even how you don't even know what to do but you know you want to do something okay and then the inspiration comes to you i said this is a wand though but a sword but can be a wand as well because this looks like a if that's the wand your person can be this person can be aries leo or sag uh, but let's get to like i feel like strongly this person can be actually mm, a, like i said air sign the path is you're traveling and you're catching these two big fishes. These two big fishes can be like a maybe you want to take action, you want to do something, you want to create a new source of income for yourself, but you don't know what it is. I feel like you're gonna get clarity within maybe three months or so, and you're gonna take action. The things are actually going to, to roll like snowball. It's gonna start small like this fish, and then the things are gonna grow so big very quickly. I see you're connected throughout you're gonna have back and forth conversation with uh multiple people i see a silhouette of a man here you can see the nose like the nose right there the mustache and the beard you're gonna have a conversation with this person and there's also a woman uh i can see their mouth so i don't see their eyes so there's gonna be this can be people that you never met before maybe you're gonna meet on linkedin and stuff back and forth because i heard about like people finding jobs in different countries and just writing through email and getting done everything on that sense maybe just having like a one zoom call and then moving there after they get their working permit and stuff and if that's what you're manifesting that is definitely showing that kind of a thing is going to happen back and forth this also looks like brain to me okay i said like the fishes when you ignore that like you see like two halves of a brain there is going to be massive thought production happening for you you're going to be actually producing a lot of ideas and maybe like plans are going to be made and the path is opening right after that i said like international travel right yeah and there's another path opening like um in three months but this this has some you know this is like a vacation type of a thing i see here this is not going to be something um like this is going to relate to joy here i see a letter b as in berry or can be number eight which is a symbol of um, abundance within four weeks I'm going to say that I'm going to do the time period, not uh, chrono chron chronologically, chrono chronologically. Uh, I'm going to do it intuitively. So I feel like this is going to be happening sooner than all those things. Within a month or so, you're going to receive. Can be this eight. Uh, but I have here um, Father of Cups, which is the King of Cups, a very loving um, and... Uh, thoughtful person can be a male or a water sign and water signs are pisces cancer and scorpio uh, you're going to receive help from this person and i don't feel like this is going to be romantic help here though because this is going to be business related and you're going to create this idea and opinion you can see the wand also showing here right here is a wand and when you create that opinion this person is going to give you a hand and the B can be in their first name or the last name. And after that, you're going to meet this women and the men that we talked about here. This can be a couple. I also see an old man here. This person can be also a part of this three team. And uh, you're going to present something to them. 
And right after that, I see a hose of an elephant, which is a very good sign, which is a sign of abundance and wealth and long-term wealth. And there are three people sitting on, on a branch right here, you can see. This can be your partners that you're going to be forming the partnership with and uh, create this business that you're talking about, thinking about, or maybe th three people. If you're working in a place, you're going to form a team. This is going to be a, like a dream team that you're going to create a lot of good things with this team. And, uh, and this will bring a lot of abundance, like even like a baby elephant, which is the beginning of massive wealth. Okay. Like, uh, um, I was reading somewhere like the elephant's pregnancy period is like 24 months or so, but eventually they give birth to this huge baby. It's not like, um, you know, a baby chicken or anything like that. So it might take a little longer than you expect this wealth to come to you, but when it comes, it's going to be very big. I see towards like the period of time, I see also a man here, maybe with nine weeks or nine months or so, I feel like. There's like a person here trying to lean on and trying to get things done. And there's another person here try to like put something in this person's head with hammer. Um, looks like also letter T can be in this first name or the last name of this person. T and I, maybe Tim, Timothy, or like take it how it resonates with you. This people, like this person, maybe this can be someone in your life that you're trying to put an idea in their mind or can be you are being forced to think in a certain way. However, this is not going to, like this is going to be big for a while in your life and within that period of time, but there's going to be an upgrade coming right after that. There's someone actually watching over you here. There's another person just hiding flowers behind their hand. So um, even though they're trying to put some uh, thoughts into your mind, maybe they're giving you a different person perspective what came to my mind is this can be even like a spiritual guide there's actually like guiding you intuition giving you maybe hammering you maybe if you're just going with the programming you have already and the things are not serving you well uh, you're going to receive intuitive guidance and um, if you like what happened to me in the past when I don't follow my intuition and keep going with my old patterns the things actually crumbled and uh, in order to build it back, I followed my, just, I got into intuitive mode, like immediately, because when the things are falling apart, there's nothing you can do. Um, you know, you risk it. And uh, actually intuition is not risking everything. Like, even though you're fearful, when you follow your intuition, intuition is always a good sign, by the way. It's not, your intuition never tells you to do crazy things, by the way. It just speaks to you in the most subtlest ways. And then things are start to show up, you know, working out. I see someone here. This reminds me of an angel with small wings. So this can be like an earth angel, someone on this planet helping you out and handing you this beautiful, you see the candle is lit. This is a great sign because this candle lit is actually telling you that whatever that you have in desiring is actually going to be happening very soon. And here we have the tulip, which is the representative of masculinity. And I told you there is a path opening here. So if you're planning international travel, so this can be, this person can be like being a guide to you or maybe signing your visas or working permit if you want to go, uh, if you don't have like a working permit in another country. And um, they're giving you a hand. And a tulip is representative of masculinity, like I said, and resilience. And this is actually telling me that you're going to be taking massive action and you're going to get it, get all these things done Um very like uh, smoothly okay the things nothing is going to stand in your way when you decide and uh, when you start moving on all right guys i'm gonna get into your plate now if you have a question desire and intention just hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that one new horizon definitely there's going to be a change of scenery in your life there are three different paths that are putting in front of you but two of them are actually going to merge into one one of them, I don't think you're going to even consider. The, the new horizon is on top of this huge chunk of money. You want the money. And there's actually, um, this is going to happen soon. It's not going to be too far away. I also see here a dragon, or we can even call it like a, this part looks like a whale. It, they're both symbolizing money. Uh, whale is more on the innocent side on the passive side dragon is more like they love gold they have like they like they do anything to get it done so 
there is going to be some action taking you see this white little dot is actually like you're throwing your hands in the air is going to be some sort of accomplishment a surprise that you're not expecting coming out of nowhere okay and you're going to be celebrating that so your desire and this turn into like a horse's head or maybe not even a horse this is a dragon right there you see the head it even looks like a little chicken baby chicken but it also represents because they are self you know they are um abundant animal as well and your desire like i said it's gonna come at first a little fast and then it's gonna slow down and can grow and get bigger and faster but you need to be patient with yourself and this uh, the uh, process i also see here a head of a bull it also represents masculinity like double signs and uh, but bull also can be someone a Taurus giving you a hand maybe you have a Taurus in your um life or someone uh has that like um earth energy calm but it, at the same time very grounded and um but they know how to take care of things can be that as well let's see what's let's pull up a couple cards i said what's blocking your way is we have the moon card here i don't really see any blocks but there's a mystery in a situation like i said maybe you don't see the path yet you don't know which way to go where to go but the path is going to be opening because this in this moon card we have two trees which is a very good sign in coffee cup readings because trees represents um like longevity because they live forever uh and um, these also looks like two paths to me. So there's going to be two paths and you need to use your intuitive guidance. But there's going to be um, like some, even though things seem hidden, the things are going to be like uh, revealed to you. And the crescent moon also represents legal accomplishments. Here I have seven of wands, which is actually um, conflict or maybe... Uh, some uh, you are feeling a little bit um, defensive right now uh, in maybe the the way you are like right now the things are not really going the way you are that's why you have so many reasons to count and say you know what this doesn't happen they never this never works for me and this will never happen maybe you are ha actually having in a mindset in a state that you're feeling like the things are not gonna go but let me tell you everything is gonna go better than ever i never seen such so many aces in one reading okay everything is going to go better than ever the truth will be revealed and you're going to be appreciated your existence will be appreciated and love is in the air if you're not manifesting love you can take it as something which will give you emotional fulfillment and new endeavors new money a uh, new uh, job like i said and new places new people and environments are going to come okay we have here Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. So this is a very good reading for you. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is also beautiful. And let me tell you why. Because uh, everything is going to be like, you're going to have in all areas of your life, new beginnings. And they're going to be the best thing ever. They're going to be in the best thing possible. We have here the sun and the moon. Owl is telling you follow the intuition, follow your intuition, and so many stars in the air. Stars are actually representative of manifestations coming to life. Okay, uh, watch out and keep like looking for your blessings. Like keep uh, being thankful for your blessings because more of them is gonna show up right after one another. All right, my lovelies, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications if you haven't already. And uh, I wish you a magical day. Bye.